Hi, welcome to a SolidWorks 2017 video tutorial. I want to do the exercise which I called Wire Bottle now in SolidWorks. So let's have fun with SolidWorks 2017. So in SolidWorks it's even easier to do than in Inventor. Go for a 3D sketch and there you will find an equation curve. Right there, an equation driven curve. It's almost the same as in Inventor, I just changed the values a little bit. So if you go for a cosinus of t, sinus of t and t, you will get a helix. So I want to dampen that helix, so I will use a dampening factor and that would be 15 minus cosinus of t divided by 20 multiplied with 10. That's the dampening factor for both the sinus and the cosinus. And then I will multiply it with the cosinus of t. And that would be the same dampening factor, so it's 50 minus cosinus t divided by 20 multiplied with 10. So this is between 5 and 50. No, it's between 10. No, 5 and 15. That's the sort of the radius or the yeah, the size of the diameter of the helix and multiply it with sinus from t and this would be t divided by 2 and the range would be 8 times pi from 8 times pi up to 50 times pi so you could change those values and try it for yourself, but this should look pretty good. Now you go for a feature swap or space. Go for a circular profile. Let's say the diameter of the wire is 1.5 and the path of this one would be that 3D sketch and confirm. And I'm done. Very easy to do, very impressive. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page and please, please like it on Facebook. That would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.